Hi there, I'm Danny Flexen. Welcome to the latest edition of Seconds Out Flex Expectations, where we look ahead to possible events in the future in the sport of boxing, of course. Um, and this week, I wanted to draw your attention to uh, an interview given by the heavyweight Dave Allen to TalkSport earlier this week, in which he said um, something that's caused a bit of um, debate uh, and, and conjecture on social media, no surprise there. He said, I would beat, not me, uh, Dave Allen said, I would beat a 53-year-old Mike Tyson, and for that reason alone, he should never box again. Now, I understand where Dave's coming from with the statement, and I completely agree with him, I should point out. Not not the bit about that's why Tyson should never box again, there's loads of reasons why he should never box again, but in, in a serious context anyway, if he wants to have an exhibition, I've got no real problem with that against someone of similar kind of age and ability. Um, but yeah, in terms of Dave Allen's ability to defeat Mike Tyson in his current state, I actually found at least one person on social media, maybe more, I'm trying to remember, that disagreed and felt that Tyson would still have enough to beat Dave Allen. Now, I find this completely ludicrous, and I'll explain why, but I feel that even the, the kind of myth of Mike Tyson and how great he was in his prime, added to how great he looked on the pads in recent videos we've seen, I think that even on the comments below this video, there'll be people that disagree and think that he'll tear Dave Allen apart. And not only that, I think there's a kind of anti-Dave Allen feeling among some fans as well, where they want to put him down because he's appeared on pay-per-view loads of times and he's probably no more, at least at the moment, than a domestic heavyweight. And I completely understand why some that might rub a few people up the wrong way, although I've always found him a really kind of likeable, down-to-earth guy. But trust me, or don't, but I'm going to tell you, there's no way Mike Tyson, current incarnation, 53 years old, hasn't fought for 15 years, is beating Dave Allen. I'm not saying Dave Allen's the next big thing, but he's a decent heavyweight with decent skill and good power. He knows how to look after himself. You know, he wasn't stopped by Dillian White. He went a lot of rounds with Lewis Ortiz. Um, Mike Tyson, 15 years ago, before he retired, when he was a much younger man, whether you know, mentally he was switched on or not. He was a much younger man, closer to his physical prime. Lost to Kevin McBride. Now, no disrespect to Kevin McBride, but going into the fight with Tyson, he hadn't beaten anyone particularly good. He certainly hadn't beaten anyone as good as Lucas Brown, who Dave Allen stopped early on with a body shot not too long ago. If I was to pick kind of prime Dave Allen against prime Kevin McBride, at best it'd be a pick and fight, and I'd probably fancy Dave Allen to get the job done. Even if you think McBride edges him, I mean, seriously, McBride manages to stop that version of Tyson. Now, don't get me wrong, Tyson physically is in great shape, at least aesthetically. He looked brilliant for a man of his age, looked brilliant for a man of most age. He looks a lot better than me, and I'm 15 years younger than him. But I don't think I'm really a barometer, <laughs> to be fair, for a lot of things, but certainly not for that. But more importantly, yeah, he's found some inner peace. Um, he's motivated to train again, and it's great to see him find that within himself and to want to kind of be fit and, and, and kind of fall back in love with boxing if you like and as I said earlier if he wants to have an exhibition even against the likes of a Holyfield or you know whoever it might be a kind of similar age somebody who's been out of the ring for around the same amount of time you know ring rust for both of them no one gets hurt big gloves you know that kind of thing fair enough I'm sure a lot of people would like to see Mike Tyson even at his advanced age back in the ring just to say they've seen it and, you know, there's, there's, there's a, a kind of novelty element to it. It would certainly make money as well. Fair enough. But in a competitive contest against a prime heavyweight, regardless of kind of domestic level or world level, it's just not going to happen. Like, it shouldn't happen. There's, there's just no chance. I mean, Tyson at uh, 38 or whatever it was when he lost to McBride, yeah, his mind wasn't completely on the job. He was disillusioned with boxing. He had plenty of problems outside the ring as well I get all that and a lot of that may have gone away but 15 years of not fighting even if he's been training in the gym every day boxing training which I'm sure he hasn't but even if he had he's not been in the ring in all that time and the timing won't be there the accuracy won't be there there'll be a lot of ring rust and that's all before getting back to what he was 15 years ago which still was nowhere near a Pete and Mike Tyson it's just ridiculous to even suggest that he should get in there with a heavyweight in their late 20s early 30s who's been competing at a decent level no one and i mean no one really 
who loves boxing wants to see Tyson get hurt. Whatever you think of him and what he may or may not have done outside the ring, I don't think anyone wants to see a 53-year-old man get pounded by someone who, and I'm sure Dave Allen would admit this, would have been eaten up by Tyson pretty quickly in Tyson's prime. But we're not there anymore. And Alan, and this is the kind of sentiment behind the article, has no inclination to live off the name of the ghost of Mike Tyson. You know, he has been out of the ring for a long time. He spent most of that time, well, not most of that time, but a lot of that time smoking weed. You know, he owns a, a weed company and he's doing very well out of it and fair play to him. But I think that's really the best preparation for a comeback, a serious comeback at the age he is now. But the fact that there's still people out there who feel that Tyson can step back in the ring after not fighting for that long, after having the lifestyle he's had, going with someone of a relatively decent level, whatever you make of Dave Allen and people of you know his ilk, and get the job done, I find, I not only do I find it ludicrous, but I find it quite touching as well that people have that much affection for Tyson and what he meant to them when they were growing up and when he came through and how exciting he was and you know, how powerful and how much of an irresistible force he was back then, that that's kind of carried through and they still feel he's got so much to offer in the current heavyweight scene. He hasn't, you know, reality check, he hasn't. And I really admire what he achieved and no one can ever take that away from Mike Tyson. But I just think people need a dose of perspective. We all like to dream a little bit and I understand that and I don't want to be kind of fun killer, you know, 2020. But let's be real, you know, Tyson needs to stay in his lane, if you like. Now, I wouldn't tell him, <laughs> but someone should, and I'm sure sanctioning bodies will. I don't, even though um, Maurizio Suleiman, president of WBC, says if it came to it and he passed some stringent tests and stuff, they would rank Tyson. I don't think there'll be many sanctioning bodies in the US, and certainly not in the UK, who'd be willing to give him a license at this stage of his life. Um, and that's for the best. Put him on the exhibition circuit, combine it with like a you know, meet and greet or an evening with or something like that and then put him in the ring on the pads or, you know, a little bit of a gentle spa for a couple of rounds or as gentle as Tyson can be. I'd go and watch that. I'd pay to watch that. But let's leave him out of, you know, getting back involved in any sort of competitive way because it wouldn't be competitive. And that's the point. And no one wants to see one of our childhood heroes, a faded version of himself, you know, uh, harm his legacy in any way. Or, or any more than it already has been by other things that have happened. But that's my thoughts. Really want to hear or read what you've got to say in the comments below. I'm sure some people will still say that Tyson can smash Dave Allen up with one hand tied behind his back in a nursing home at the age of 85. But we'll wait and see, and I'll respond to some of them. I'll be back Monday for Reflections, 4.30pm, and next week, for expectations Thursday at the same time. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Thank you.